breakfast breakdown and we're taking a look at a very nice piece of defensive work by Mozvar Ivloyev against Mike Grundy. We were just going through it David, even trying to drill this is, is pretty uncomfortable. The the anaconda, the brabo, the almond triangle, the, those guillotine, horrible, especially when you've got a really powerful wrestler like M Mike Grundy. But he met his match in Ivloyev and the kid did a good job of getting out of this submission. Yeah, I think when the trouble is these kind of submissions, uh, a lot of times if, you, if you're strong and you're used to getting them, when someone is just, you can't get it on them or they escape, you're like, what have I got to do? Yeah. And his escapes were just that little too quick. Yeah. You know, he couldn't counter the escape quick enough, hence he escaped. Yeah. But I think he's just, if you, he's just like a microsecond ahead of him. Yeah. In, in in the process and that's kind of what saved his neck yeah literally. yeah and he it looked like he was sacrificing his neck a couple of times so let's go through it Dave and I want you actually to show me what Grundy could have done differently I know you don't necessarily like doing that because it's a fight we know all of that but I liked what the the, uh, the transition that you just showed right so what happens is it's almost like he's gone in for that arm in guillotine because let me put my arm here first for the his arm is in so that's his arm in, and it gets here. But when when they, it's all this kind of turnover is kind of classic in in some like it's for some wrestlers. Um, a lot of times you try and push the head, and if your arms here like this, you can kind of create a turnover like this. So what happened? Kind of if as he turned over here and his, this arm drops, it, as he's gone here, the hands there, and he's kind of I think what he wanted to do is drive this so deep so that my chest almost is on his arm or on his shoulder which is making that crush and then I can grab my biceps here grab high shoulder and then just squeeze for the submission but obviously it's easy when John's just sitting there let me do it so when it's a fight and things you know I want I got a counter the counter the counter and off the go off the goes the scramble what happens if you see is his arm hits the floor, he kind of grabs high biceps. So his arms are together, he kind of turns him, but then he shoots in and he, high biceps. He gets here high on the forearm, right? So it's, this could have been better, yeah? This is a much better grip, much stronger. And this enables me to get my arm up. But what happens is he kind of gets his arm a little trapped on the floor. So now the pressure here is, is not as great. Not to say he can't finish if we, if we flip John around so you can see his beautiful mug. Uh, go here, John. This is no problem. Uh, this I can do it the other way. I've got two arms. Okay. So if John's on this side now, like I've gone here and we've, like, I've, I've been here, my arm's over here, like so, and he drops his shoulder down and I go here and I'm, oh, I didn't manage to grab my bicep. I just managed to grab my forearm as we spin. What I want to try to do as I'm laying here is push his head in and try and just run, try and grab his legs and run that choke in. It still works, because again, what I'm trying to do is shove the vice on his neck and then crunch him, his body together, which just sucks, it's mm. not great. So when I'm here, even though I've got my forearm, I stick my body, I'm still, squeezing with my arms and all I try to do now is just run run my body to try and catch his legs you will get a submission yeah however if the guy on the bottom is hell bent on that not happening then you you run into a problem so when he's got his arm here like so and where he hasn't got it as deep as he liked is is it's possible for John to push my hip away so now I can't Get the legs. I think you did have one leg there, didn't you? But it? even here, look, John, if I had that leg, yeah. and I'm still trying to pull you in, see, the, just your arm bent on my hip, I'm trying. It still stops the, the crush. Yeah. And then I think, what happened? He gets, grabs his own leg, right, in defense, 
And now, where he's, look, that's just pulling. You can, there's a gap here now. And where I don't have a great grip on my arm or my, or my biceps, it's just my forearm, now the grip's going. And then, boop, it pops out. That's the only problem. I think what, what sometimes in this situation, if, if possible, what I would like to do is I switch my hip, get up to my knees, and then I drop my hip on this arm to kill that escape. And then what I try to do from here is where my arm is still underneath him, I try to grab his head, but then grab my arms like he first did, Grundy first did, pull him in even tighter like so, then I can shove this out, then I grab my biceps, now I can submit him again. But again, Oof. it's a fight. To do that, like the effort that it takes for my arms to stay in the game with that. Yeah. And, and when you're, the trouble is when you're fighting, your arms, they don't work as well as you might think. That adrenaline gets shoved through them and they, it's like you can't make the squeeze sometimes. So where I'm trying and I'm trying to do it, you're trying to stop me, it's a different ball game altogether, you know? But uh, again, it, the effort to, to, to do all that, to counter what you're doing, yeah. not only does it take physical effort, it, that oxygen that you're sparingly using for your muscles to, to make those movements, you're also trying to sparingly use it in your brain to make the decisions. Mm -hmm. And really, it's the, the, when you see guys fight, they're not making decisions, they're just re recalling on reactions. Yeah, the decision, yes, it's technically a decision being made, but really, it's going at such a fast pace, it's more of a reaction that they're recalling on a decision they made in training. Yeah. So, yeah, it was just, when he grabs it, it's just unfortunate. I think if he'd have grabbed that high, like straight high on the arm, grabbed the bicep, that's a different squeeze to defend against. Mm -hmm. Whereas this was a little bit less of what he needed, really. But amazing defences and yeah. yeah, to just let yourself go and spin out of stuff. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to do the spin. My have little, confidence my in your swan neck. Like neck. Yeah, I, I haven't got that confidence. But I, I sometimes do that in, in training, and 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 that's when people are not putting half the squeeze on that they would do in a fight. Mm. So to to have the confidence, I mean, I don't think it's confidence you need. It's a little bit. of You just got to go. It's you the know? right thing to do as yeah, well. Yeah, right? you just. You've got to make that decision and, and react that way, you know. And, wh and while we're talking about him and his neck strength, because we, we were talking about this af uh, after class, the suplex that he did as well. Yeah. I mean, technically brilliant. I urge people to go back and watch this fight for both parties because both of them showed a lot of skills. There was a, a bunch of stuff to look at that. But that suplex as well was a thing of beauty. Yeah, that suplex for mine, it, it's kind of reminds me of someone doing a backflip. Right. You know what I mean? You try to do a backflip and you can't do one it's a long day out for you, you know yeah, what I mean? It's yeah. hard, you can't do it. It's, but once you can do a backflip, you just, you do, I mean, if I could do a backflip, I'd be popping, i will do one right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, because you've got the, that movement, and that, and that movement is ingrained in his body. Yeah, you said he, he didn't just do that. Yeah, I'm, That's something that he's been doing for a yeah, long I'm, time. I'm, I, I bet, like, if he gets hotel room, two beds, and he's got to pick one, someone's getting suplexed. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hopefully not his missus. That'd be bad for her, wouldn't it? All the time, suplexing. Maybe, she might be into it. It's a thing, maybe. Yeah, well, uh, congratulations to Yves Loyev. He's had a nightmare as well. A bunch of fights fell out for him. Finally got it done with Grundy because they were matched up back in the day. Um, Grundy has just had surgery, I believe, on his jaw. He had his jaw broken in that fight as well. So uh, hopefully that all goes well for you, my friend. And thank you for watching. Give Dave a follow. Keep checking out these. We've got a bunch more of these breakdowns coming your way.